Today, we've got a fascinating topic to discuss, clean coins worth money. Now, before we jump into the world of shiny surfaces and sparkly patinas, let me remind you that cleaning coins is generally not recommended in the numismatic community. Cleaning coins may seem like a good idea to enhance their appearance, but it often does more harm than good. By removing the natural patina and altering the surface, you risk damaging the coin and, most importantly, diminishing its numismatic value. So, my fellow collectors, here's a golden rule, resist the urge to clean your coins. Always remember, the dirt and tarnish on a coin can tell a story, and that story is valuable to collectors and historians alike. Cleaning can erase this history and, in turn, reduce the coin's overall worth. Now, despite the general caution against cleaning coins, there are instances where clean coins have surprised us at auctions. Today, we'll be exploring several super valuable clean coins. It's important to note that the rarity and historical significance of these coins play a crucial role in their high market value. Hit that subscribe button below and let's dive in. Immer properly cleaned 1922 no D Lincoln sent with strong reverse. NGC assigned AU details for this one. According to Heritage Auctions, though the obverse is even more ill-defined than usual for this missing mint mark variety, the boldly impressed wheat ears show only modest wear. Mahogany and reddish-brown surfaces are glossy with hints of pink and scattered hairlines from a past cleaning. It was sold for $2,760. Improperly cleaned 1916 D Mercury Dime. Graded as uncirculated details by NGC. NGC notes light cleaning, as evidenced by faint lines hidden beneath mottled golden toning. More important are a few hair-thin scratches on Liberty's portrait which become apparent with a glass, but even these are trivial. It was sold for $8,342.50. Cleaned and damaged error sent. Off-metal 1943 S. Lincoln sent struck on Peruvian 5 centavos planchet. Graded as extremely fine details by NGC. A 5 centavo planchet was inadvertently diverted to Lincoln sent dies, creating one of the few 1,943 S. sent struck in an alloy other than zinc-plated steel. Certainly more affordable than a bronze 43 S. sent, though also very rare. This lightly circulated yellow gold scent is bright from cleaning and has a subtle test mark beneath the B in Liberty. A small post mint clip at 2.30 was made by a doubting Thomas. It was sold for $6,462.50. Improperly cleaned 1916 double die obverse buffalo nickel. Graded as about uncirculated details by NGC. The date is widely dye doubled, as are the feather tips, and the Indian's profile. Liberty shows no obvious doubling and must have been near the pivot point for the mint hubbing mishap. The present lime green and stone gray example has a typical strike but only minor wear. Bright and lightly hairlined from cleaning, and we note a couple of pin scratches near the profile. It was bargained for $14,687.50. Cleaned and strongly patinated 1969s Lincoln scent with double dye obverse. The 1969S double die is the single most valuable variety in the Lincoln Scent series and ranks at the number one spot in Schecter and Garrett's 100 Greatest U.S. Modern Coins. Bold doubling can be seen on all obverse lettering and the bow tie. This piece shows only brief wear from circulation, although an old cleaning precludes a numeric grade. Both sides display glossy patina in deep burgundy and olive brown hues. It was sold for $16,450. Before we wrap up, let me reiterate, Think twice before cleaning your coins. The numismatic world values the story each coin carries, and altering that story can impact its worth. So, let's cherish our coins in their natural state and preserve their rich histories. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more captivating content on the fascinating world of numismatics. God's willing, see you in the next video.